This video demonstrates the protocol for socket grafting without flap reflection using Augmabon Appetite Bone Graft Cement. For this protocol you can use 3D Bond Plus 0.5cc syringe or Bond Appetite 1cc as the bone graft and AugmaShield for coverage. Watch the following steps from site preparation to closure. After extraction, perform a complete debridement, including the removal of granulation tissue. When the site is ready, activate the Bond Appetite syringe. With a finger on the cap, push slowly until all the liquid moves into the powder compartment. Continue to push until the first piston reaches the line. Remove the cap with a twisting and pulling motion. Eject the material into the socket at a 45 degree angle and slightly overfill. Take a dry, unfolded, sterile gauze and press strongly with a finger for 3 seconds. Use the periosteal elevator and add compaction on the material for additional 3 seconds. Remove excess material. Cover the exposed graft with AugmaShield. AugmaShield has a matte layer and a transparent layer. The matte layer is the actual AugmaShield. The side that is attached to the transparent layer is the side that attaches to the gums. Trim AugmaShield to size so that it fits the defect. Detach the AugmaShield from its under layer and place it on top of the exposed graft. Make sure that the AugmaShield covers the entire exposed area and extends 3 to 4 millimeters beyond the exposed area from both the buccal and the palatal aspect. AugmaShield must be secured with simple cross mattress sutures for a period of 12 to 14 days. Start from the buccal aspect by suturing from the mesial part to the distal. Continue to the palatal aspect from the mesial through distal in order to create a cross suturing above the Augma shield. Create the first knot. Continue suturing. Proceed vertically by going through AugmaShield in that area. Then to the buckle aspect in the same way. Suture from the mesial through distal horizontally. Proceed to the palatal aspect again, from the mesial through distal. Make the knots. Suture as much as needed to keep the Augma shield in place. This will ensure that the Augma shield will not fall out.
To summarize, here are the key points for the socket grafting without flap reflection protocol. Site preparation. After extraction, make a complete debridement. Cement activation. Push the shaft slowly until the first piston reaches the line. Grafting. Place the Agma Bond Appetite Bone Graft Cement in the site, make sure you slightly overfill, then compact with a dry gauze for 3 seconds and add additional compaction with a periosteal elevator. It is not important if the material does not reach into the apex zone. However, it is important that the material is well compacted at the cervical level. Coverage and closure. The exposed graft should be protected using Ogma Shield for a period of 12 to 14 days. Secure Ogma Shield with cross mattress sutures as required. Do not use fast resorbable sutures and do not advise the patient to use salt water for mouth rinses.